G'day folks, it's Rob here and welcome to our small little backyard farm. This week's vlog we're going to be looking at the um, papaya up near the house, uh, the aquaponics and a few other bits and pieces we've had growing around the place. Oh, and a new um, sweet potato patch I've started off in a wicking barrel. So I do hope you enjoy the clip and I'll catch you at the end. How's it going patrons? Lizzie's patiently waiting for me to stop so I can kick the ball for her. Thought I'd give you a bit of a look at uh, what we got up to the last day or so. Uh, Bianchi gave me a bit of a help yesterday to move the two barrels that were up there. Uh, the far one was the lemongrass and the close one was the um, dwarf lemon. The lemongrass has just gone down the end there and the um, little wicking pouch units just come up the end. Uh, I need to flatten that out, it's on a bit of an angle but I'll do that another day. Also planted out some sweet potatoes yesterday. Um, you'd almost call them slips but they were sections with roots from down the back. Some rather nice root sections on some of them. They went in there as well as a potato. Uh, our mate Dave from Boona gave us. Thank you very much Dave, even though you probably won't see this. Uh, the soil too was fed up with um, a leftover compost from a purchase bag, some potting mix and also popped in there some rooster booster and some um, uh, minerals as well. So hopefully that'll uh, freshen up the soil nicely. It's got some shade over the top because I swear we hit over 37 degrees or 36 degrees today around that mark. A uh, bit of a scorcher. Uh, this uh, Egyptian spinach has been feeding us loads of meals along with this one here. You, you can probably tell these guys have got a bit, a bit of a more bushy um, growth than the ones we had last season. That's because I've been nipping off um, whole branches at a time. It tends to make them a little bit bushy which is great. Uh, just down in here as well, I did have the uh, tamarillo that a visitor donated, but unfortunately it, di it died. But from out of nowhere, <laughs> I popped a carrot. So I don't know if I've shown you that before. Uh, just a single carrot, just came out of nowhere. Uh, the little Okinawa spinach I cut back has started to shoot new um, leaf growths. So I'm pretty stoked with that. It is a very, very hardy plant. I'd say if left in the right conditions, it'll be almost a bigger weed as the Warrigal spinach. And in saying that, um, this one here isn't doing too well. Just too exposed, I think. They really do need to have a bit of shade in our climate come summer. So, yeah, the green onions, we've been just coming down and um, nipping off single bits and pieces and stalks when we need them. The poor old mulberry over the back there, it got a bit of a feed. I didn't realise it, but it was trying to flower again. So it started to put out a few small fruit. I probably should um, give it some more, uh, what do you call it? Charlie carp and see if we can get a few more fruit on it. And the lemongrass that needs to be divided and Bianca wants to hook into her comfrey, um, divide out the root sections and plant it elsewhere. I'm thinking about using it as a border plant out the front around the bananas. We'll just wait and see. Um, over here. Yeah, the mint got a really good haircut today. I mowed this mint all the way back. It's actually set up, um, sent up runners all the way almost over to the oregano or oregano. So when I chop back the oregano and actually dry out those leaves, I'm not ready to do that at the moment. I'll um, cut back that mint as well. You can see the sunshine chilies have got loads of fruit on them. I'll show you what happened in the aquaponics. Uh, these poor parsley plants, they just got absolutely fried the last couple of days and so is the thyme. I don't think either of them are going to, oh the thyme might make it. Um, yeah, just too hot. So maybe it was a bit of a silly move to um, clean out the bed when I did. But I do have other little parsley here and I've got um, a few more little seedlings there and you probably can't see it if the smoothie will turn around but there's a little clump just in that ginger barrel there that we've been harvesting a bit of so that'll pretty much all see us through I think. I was planning on getting to the celery in here today but it just didn't happen. Um, just getting bits and pieces ready for the house and I was tidying off the dining room table and decided to do six months worth of tax <laughs> instead of coming out here which was probably a good idea because it was a tad warm today. Um, this is a bit of a long update for you patrons but you know it's probably going to be the last one for the year so I thought I'd... well that didn't go to plan. Um, the little wire on my other road mic got caught on the side of the bed because I've just got it clipped onto the outside of my shirt and I appear to have um, snapped the wire so I've got my um, dodgy other one that does have a loose wire up the top here so sorry if the um, sounds a little bit crackly but what I was going to come over here and do was just check the pH. I know it's going to sit around about 6.6 once, 6.7 once it settles down. So I might just leave it there. So there you go, folks. A little bit of an update uh, for this afternoon. I oh, know she's coming down to 6.5, 6.6, 6.5. Oh, we might dose her up with some calcium hydroxide. 
Uh, before I do that though, I might just feed the fish and give you guys a bit of a look. And then, um, yeah, we'll call it quits. And I'm going to go have a cold beer before I go up and start cooking again. So, about a lid's worth of feed and hopefully these guys will come up. Uh, they should be well and truly rested after their stress attack with the camera being in there. So yeah, they look like they're alright. So I pretty much will leave it there, folks. This um, little smoothie pro keeps getting the twitches on me, so... See if we can get a shot of one or two of these fish coming up there, having a bit of a nibble. So it's a little bit hard to see this time of night. It's about 6pm here, so... There you go! How's it going folks? Thought I'd give you a bit of a look at the uh, pawpaw or papaya near the back stairs here. She's on a little bit of a lean. The, um, the recent storms and um, the rain has basically made the soil in here a little bit um, soft. So she's getting quite a bit of a lean to her. Luckily we've got some nice branches forming down here so what I can do is I can actually um, chop her off on a bit of an angle, do what my father did. Put a tin can over the top to stop any water getting in there and rotting her out. And hopefully we'll have a couple of branches come out but before I do that I need to um, safeguard these fruits so what I might do is try and strap them back from probably about halfway oh, probably just above this section here onto the um, stairs here around this post here she's bolted down the base there fairly sturdily so and this really isn't that heavy I would push it back but I don't want to destabilize her further the rain the rain gauge, I hadn't emptied it in, since last week, so we had rain on Friday and a few storms passed through over the weekend and on Christmas Day on Monday we had uh, quite a fall. We ended up with around about 57 millimetres of rain, so that was a nice little drop. Due to the rain we had, we actually have a overflowing aquaponic system again. That's also too because I topped it up our Christmas Day without realising we were due for such a big storm that night. Um, there's one of those little magpie moth caterpillars I may have mentioned in the last aquaponic update. These guys do a great job at stripping the Okinawa spinach right back, so I like to squish them whenever I can find them. Um, yeah, so what I've done, because the aquaponic system is so full, I've uh, taken out the bell from this bed here, so there's a constant level of water in there, and that way once some of the water gets used up by the plants, transpiration, evaporation, um, yeah, we can pop the bell back in and allow that water back in the system. So I actually need to quickly um, clean the radial flow filter. I was meant to do that boxing day, but we um, had a bit of a sleep in. So it was a bit of a slow start to get to go see my parents and brothers and sister and family. So what I'll do is I'm, I might go through that now. I've lost a little locking cover for my Blue Lab pH meter. So I'm just running all the water into this gutter today, uh, which is running then straight out to underneath the mango tree down there. I'm a little annoyed I did that leaving it in overnight and letting that little rubber grommet slide off but I suppose you know we all, won't, we all make these mistakes. I do have an older um, probe that I did keep um, so I'll, I'll grab the little rubber grommet off that if I can't find it. So have a bit of a look in there. She's a little bit grotty and somehow I don't think I'm going to find my little um, grommet but such is. So I'll get back to cleaning this. How's it going folks? Thought I'd give you a bit of an update on how these little sweet potatoes down here are going. Just the little root sections I took out from down the back the other day and planted out. Uh, we've had a couple of warm ones uh, just around Christmas Day. So I decided to pop a little bit of shade over the top there. Oh, as you can probably tell, I've bought a new mic as well. So hopefully the sound's coming through a little bit better today. Uh, down in here, uh, with the sweet potato, we're having a few things pop up. Um, I don't know if you can make them out. There's a little onion there. I had some onions in a barrel, um, a few up, there we go, just over there. They set seed, so I got some of the flower heads and just crumpled them through all these different barrels down here. Just over there as well, looks like there might be a couple of tomatoes popping up as well. And I dare say there will be some um, Thai basil, because I took a couple of uh, the seed heads from that plant over the back. There we go, that plant over the back and just sprinkled them through there as well. So hopefully we'll see some um, more Thai basil pop. We've only got two or three plants uh, from the volunteers this season. Just down in this root pouch garden, we've got two little gifts from Mark and Allison, a little purple opal basil there, and another one over the back there. They're not looking too purple at the moment though. I'd say that's just got to do with um, the amount of heat. So, and they've also been in a lot of sun before I moved them into here the other day. So 
yeah, hopefully they'll put on a bit of size for us. Oh, these wicking trays, by the way, they're pretty much well been um, uh, keeping the plants nice and hydrated. We've had about 55 or just over 55 millimetres of rain over the Christmas period. So I think I might have mentioned that in the previous clip. So they're definitely um, not really needing to be topped up regularly. Also over here, we've got the red Malabar spinach volunteer. It's starting to um, give us a couple of leaves, but I really need to take it out of this Owen knock. Down in here, the red amaranth is, oh, Chinese amaranth is doing really well too. So we've got more than a few meals just in that little section there. We tend to use it more as a salad. And we will eat the larger leaves too, even the holes. Oh, we don't eat the holes obviously because there's nothing there, but we do eat the older ones. We find they're fine. Um, what I tend to do is just roll them up and slice them very finely and throw them into um, rice paper rolls and salads and that sort of thing. And the ginger in there has just gone gangbusters with this heat and moisture. So I'll give you a bit of a gander at the pineapples in the um, 39 litre or 10 gallon root pouch as well. There we go. Now you can see it just sitting in a tray of water there. Uh, these fruit obviously have put on a nice bit of size. So they're, they're pretty much all the same size as anything you'd see in the shops. This plant here still hasn't produced any suckers. But down here we have a single sucker. Um, that one there's actually got a dual crown on it from the looks of it. So I'm not too sure what's going to happen there. And down here, this little funny growth um, still hasn't done much. It's just grown slightly larger in size. From this angle here, you can see where it's just growing out of the, um, the stalk of the pineapple itself. So when we do harvest the fruit, I will um, cut it open just to see what it looks like on the inside. Hopefully there might be a little um, bit of pineapple edible fruit in there. What do you think, Lizzie? You don't know? Oh, she's busy grazing the grass. So... Yeah, looking forward to harvesting um, these two little babies. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed that little bit of a look at what's been going on around the patch here over the last week or so. A YouTuber suggested that you might like to check out that little clip there. And down the bottom, there's a playlist on aquaponic DIY, um, bits and pieces com component-wise, and also a couple of DIY builds. So hope you enjoy them if you check them out. I do hope you're all well and happy and your own gardens are booming. And I will catch you next clip. Cheers, all.